Stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends X-Men's Angel. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we continue with the X-Men hype. As in front of me, we have quite possibly one of the most anticipated Marvel Legends of the year so far. He is an original member of the X-Men. It is Warren Worthington the third, aka Angel in the deluxe sized packaging so they can show off those glorious wings behind him in some would say an iconic costume as well although Angel has had many costumes throughout the years and this red one is just one of many a lot of people may have preferred this in the blue but I'm sure Hasbro have that up their sleeve we will discuss more as we open him up but I'm sure the community on a whole will welcome an updated pinless version of Angel with those more traditional wings. He does come with a more smiley head as well as a set of interchangeable hands. The packaging has a picture of Angel on either side, that same image on the back of the box, as well as a more traditional write-up that says, the high-flying Angel assists in fight against Dark Phoenix and other threats to the X-Men using his wings to take the battle to the sky. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get them open. Here we have Angel out of the packaging with those mentioned accessories on the table. Now the wings do compact separately, which gives you an opportunity just to check out the base body of Angel. Now it is basically the Vulcan body without the butterfly joint, unfortunately, but it does mean he is completely pinless. So there we have Vulcan and Angel, and as you can see, they are the exact same height. If I get the tape measure out, you can see, yes, six and a half inches tall. So it's a solid Marvel Legend base body, don't get me wrong, but I do think he would have benefited from the added butterfly joints on the shoulders. But the reason they're different is if I spin it round, you'll see they had to give him a new sort of upper torso because they had to allow for room for the holes as that's where you're gonna add your angel wings. So I understand why they had to make a change, but it's a shame that they couldn't add the butterfly joint to angel. But overall, you know what you're getting. As you can see, completely pinless, double jointed knees and elbows. But he will look good, I have no doubt, once we add those wings on. So uh, I guess, we should do that. So before we plug them in, let's just check out the detail on these wings. So these are brand new, unique to Angel. They are not reused from anywhere in our Marvel Legends collection, and they did not skimp on the details. If we just take a closer look at one of them here, they are symmetrical, so both are the same. You can see all the feathery detail is actually sculpted in here on all three layers. And there's also like a sort of cream wash over the white feathers to really bring out the detail of the sort of stem of the feathers as well. Again, and the feathers just get bigger as the outer side, and then they get smaller right in the middle here as well. And then on the back, uh, as you flare them out, you can actually see more white paint on the back as well. So they didn't skimp on the detail on the back of Angel, which is nice to see. So you can see that unique pattern you can see all the sculpted details of the feathers. So yeah, they've honestly done a really good job. And you can see there's the sort of hinge there where they will just fold in like so and collapse on their self. So that is the sort of bit from the front and then that would be the back. So yeah, very nicely done. And then there's also this peg, which does have a point of articulation that will plug into the back and that has a tight hinge there as well. So these should fit snugly into the back of Angel. But yeah, one more time, look at the details. Really, really nice. Plugging them in should be simple enough. So there's the hole and then just give it a little bit of force and then it goes in like so, nice and tight. There's the second one. I'm gonna move that out of the way, bring in the second one. Uh, again, just give it a little bit of might and then turn it. And then there you go. That is the angel silhouette that we have been wanting to see in Marvel Legends form. Back to our full length shot, as you can see, Angel does look great. But as you can imagine, the wings attached to his back 
do now make him a little bit more back heavy. So it is a balancing act to get him to stand straight. What I've ended up doing is use the wings as a sort of tripod to give him some stability. So these wings down here, these long feathers are actually touching the table to hold the balance. Otherwise, you're going to have to lean him forward just a little bit. But I'm sure many people out there are going to take advantage of those wings and get him on a flight stand flying in their display as he should be. But this is how he looks straight on and he does look really good. Of course, the wings do give him a little bit more height, but it's mainly to about seven inches. I'm going to now see what type of wingspan we're dealing with. Remember, there are three layers to the feathers here. So you can sort of just use the hinge to widen on them just like so. And they will stop naturally. Like you will feel it sort of snap into position. And there we have our feathers. So a little bit lopsided there. So there's our wide shot and you can see the wings now fully extended. And as you can see against the white background, the wings seem to be molded in more of a cream plastic with the white dry brushing on top to bring out the details of the feathers. So they are like a nice sort of natural color as feathers would be. Now let me get the tape measure so you can see the full wingspan here. So you're looking at about 16 inches really. Yeah, maybe 15 and a half. But still, that's impressive. 15 and a half inches to the tip of the longest feather is what you're dealing with. And that's fully extended. So when you start posing them up, I'm sure maybe you'll get a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on what you're going for. Because of course you can fold these back in and you don't have to extend them the whole way. And they will swivel as well on the back of the figure, as you can see. They swivel there and there's also the hinge to go outward so you can put them up too. So uh, yeah, some nice uh, articulation for the wings and also the head is on a disc and hinge by the way. So you can get his head looking up in a great flying pose with those wings. So I look forward to see the photography people do with this guy. Taking a closer look at the head sculpts then, as you can see, this is the more neutral expression, but it still has those piercing blue eyes and that blonde hair with the side parting. He's wearing that famous, uh, what did Rich call it? Face sock in the red. Obviously it's on the ball joint, so you've got the disc and hinge. So you've got full swivel left and right. And of course you can get him looking up for those flying poses as I've already showed you. So there you have your neutral expression for Warren. We also have, looking at the second head scoop i can't say i'm much of a fan it's a really awkward smile it sort of looks like he's got no top lip it's a little bit weird it's basically the same hair piece on a slightly different face scoop now i've got the smiley expression still got the piercing blue eyes a little bit of color on his cheeks but yeah that smile i don't know there's something a little bit off put in there not the biggest fan of that. Still wearing the face socks so the ears are covered. The mask has a little bit more line work, but both represent the same sort of era. But yeah, I can't say I'm a big fan of the smiling expression for Angel. But there you have your two looks, neutral or smiling of Warren Warrington the third. Let me know in the comments which one of these head sculpts you prefer. Would be nice to have a darker wash on that blonde hair just to bring out the sculpted detail as it's not so yellow. But otherwise, I do prefer the more neutral expression over the smiley face. He looks a little bit creepy. And in case you were wondering, yes, the blue skinned alternative head that came with the previous deluxe Archangel fits on this body, no problem at all. Now I believe that look is actually more suited to the blue version of this costume. However, it can work on this one if you wish. I do actually prefer the wash that's on this hair for Warren here compared to how bright the yellow is on these hairs. If this hair had that sort of style in paint, it would actually be really good. And of course he comes with a set of fisted hands straight out the packaging, but also a set of these open palm expressive oversized hands that we have literally gotten with every figure we have got on this new Vulcan body. They are definitely a little bit too big, but they still work, of course. So yeah, more expressive hands for those flying poses, I assume. Just looking at the rest of the figure real quick, you have the halo in yellow in the middle there. And then otherwise, it's the white going all the way down onto the trunks and then on the insides of the legs down to the boots. There is a boot cut there as well. So let's show off the articulation. So you've got the boot swivel, double jointed, 
pinless knees, no problem at all. They fold all the way up. You got the thigh cut as well. The legs go about that far forward and about that far back, so not bad at all. You got the swivel at the waist. You've got the crunch down, so we will crunch forward and also crunch back. And the white does continue through the ab crunch as well. The shoulders do go past 90. There's also a bicep swivel and double jointed elbows. So you can't be mad at that at all. Hinging the wrists, of course, up and down. Head's already on a disc and hinge, as I've mentioned. So it's a standard Marvel Legends articulation, pinless figure. I actually think this is really good. It's just missing the butterfly joints, which they've had to sacrifice because of how high the holes are to input these wings. And as I've shown you, the wings spread out with these three layers that fold in on themselves. And there's also a hinge as well, so the wings come out. So again, you could probably use the wings as a bit of a kickstand when you want him to display him. But uh, again, we need to get him on a flight stand. Let's do that. And this is what it's all about. Get yourself angeled on a flight stand and he will immediately draw the eyes and draw the attention that he is worthy of. Now, granted, he is going to take up a little bit of real estate on your shelf, but he could be the new centerpiece, undoubtedly, and the new topper, a new angel, if you will, for your x -mas tree. See what I did there? Shout out Kurt K. Also, shout out 1-6 Shooter Trevor, who I think was after this for a long time. Would he have preferred it in the blue? Maybe. As I said, he's had a few different costume variants, but I do think for the traditional wings, the red is a good look here. But let's discuss. Before we get into comparisons, a quick mention on this costume because I keep talking about the blue look because yes, he did switch between the red and the blue costume in this exact same design during the comics. Both are accurate. It's just down to your personal preference. The halo on the chest is a representation of Angel, of course. There's also a variant of this red costume but with a white X in the middle during his X Factor run. But since Angel is an original X-Men, he's been around since the 60s. So he has had lots of different variants and different costumes as you would expect. But I think for a sort of sort of main X-Men good guy look before the sort of blue skin and Archangel, this would be a solid choice for your display. And talking about Archangel, we have had him in the Marvel Legends line in not so far ago. Maybe probably a while ago now, to be fair. But even still, it was a deluxe version of Archangel that came with the chrome wings. I told you, he's a bit back heavy. So uh, I wanted to see if I could swap the wings out, but they're different body types, they're different pegs. This is just, it just doesn't work. Trust me, the, the, you can't swap the wings, unfortunately. Uh, but there we have our... Angel and Arch Angel. Uh, I think there's also an X-Force version of this guy out there as well. Uh, that would have been nice to get an upgrade. We definitely need an upgrade of Arch Angel. And make a, make a figure that has the same sort of wings as that. We also need the sort of downscale wings that when they retract for an Arch Angel as well. We've never officially got them in Marvel Legends form, but I know loads of people got 3D printed versions. But even still, here we have Angel and Arch Angel. Both solid representation for the character during different eras. But uh, let's get an upgrade on this one then, shall we? Moving on, here we have Angel next to that pesky Apocalypse, who of course turned Angel into his Arch Angel, the Angel of Death for the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Here we have Angel compared to some fellow X-Men. We've got Kurt Wagner, aka Nightcrawler, and then uh, someone he's got a little bit of history with. It's Psylocke. Here we have some more X-Men with the Tiger Strike Wolverine, even though I do think a brown suited Wolverine would fit better with this particular look for Angel. Although we do need an upgraded version of the brown suit Wolverine, all pinless, you know the good stuff. And then here we have the Phoenix herself, of course, which did stir up a little bit of trouble with Angel in the green, but she's got the Dark Phoenix upgraded head scoop on there. That was the apology head they gave us, remember? Now, earlier in the review, I did briefly mention a team called the Champions. Now I'm talking about the original short-lived champions team from the 70s that consisted of Angel in this design, Iceman, Hercules, Black Widow and Ghost Rider. I know, a random lineup, but I guess that this new Angel Marvel Legend completes that team in plastic. Now we are in March 2024, which is the return of the X-Men animated series with X-Men 97 on Disney+, Plus, who Angel was a part of. So here we have a couple of those figures with Gambit and Rogue. I always remember a scene where he seen Rogue flying and was jealous that she could fly without wings. So if you wanted to put Angel amongst that display, 
go for it. And I could genuinely be here all day comparing Angel to every single X-Men character we have in our collection as he's been around for that long. But instead, let's head home and wrap up with the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man and of course Punisher. And it's the Punisher's anniversary this year. So I'm campaigning for an updated Punisher with butterfly joints. Let's go. Let's wrap up with some of the Who crew. So here we have Frogman, Jocasta and Tigra. And remember, Jocasta is reading out comments from the previous Marvel Legend review. So leave a comment on this video and she may read yours on the next one. Who have you picked today? Chris CV5685 says, This Magneto looks great. Bring on the new mutants, especially Magma. And of course, last but never least, here we have Captain Britain and Hal Fire Hank. Final thoughts on this Marvel Legends X-Men's Angel. Firstly, let me apologize for the very anticlimactic pose here at the end as it spins round on the rotating base. Basically, his wingspan is just far too big for me to get a decent pose. So you're gonna have to wait until you get him in hand for yourself to truly see what this guy is capable of. But I'm sure you won't be disappointed. The small nitpicks are just the lack of butterfly joints on that otherwise decent Vulcan body. And at the end of the day, it's a solid upgrade for a welcomed character, an original X-Men in a traditional look. Honestly, it's one of those designs that looks like it's been plucked from the comic book page into plastic for our collection. So I think ultimately the community will be happy with this one at the end of the day. I certainly am. Whether you want the blue design or not, I think you'll be happy with this for a placeholder until we ultimately get that blue repaint, which I welcome by the way, as long as it comes with a few more heads or a few more hands or something. I'd love some interchangeable swappable metal wings. That would be great, but I'm probably asking for too much. An upgraded Archangel would be great too. He's had so many costumes and he's such an important character to sort of X-Men lore. He's worthy of them in plastic as well. But you let me know what version of Angel you would like most in your display in the comments below. And if you like Marvel Legends, then I promise you, you're in the right place. And I've got some decent X-Men Wolverine related reviews coming up. So make sure you please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit all on the notification bell. Don't miss out on a video. And please hit that join button. Become a channel member if I show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. I'm on Twitter at Dan Who Reviews or X. Do we call it X now? I still don't know. Either way, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one. <laughs>